So we're here in Croom County, Limerick. Uh, we're on our spring calving dairy farm. It's uh, Dad and myself, and we're calving down 210 cows this year. So before we got the Evolution feeder, I was feeding all of the calves by hand. So I was carrying buckets of milk up and down the yard and feeding on the, the JFC 10 teed feeder. Um, but it was taking so many hours of the day um, between feeding them and cleaning and the whole lot. Um, and since we brought in the Evolution feeder, it's taken the manual hard labour out of it, but I can spend that time that I was just feeding the animals, now checking the animals and how are they doing, or am I happy with their progress and how they're growing and their health. Um, so it's just, it's changed the whole setup on calf rearing in this farm. Well, I suppose with anything you do in farming now, the product needs to be good, but the backup service needs to be even better. There was a fault in error code on the feeder and it just turned out to be a blocked drain in it. It was something simple, but I rang the number on the machine um, and was true to them straight away. They said they'd come out if I needed to, but talked me through it and I sorted it within 10 minutes. Everything was back up and running. Um, and rang them back and, you know, job was done. Uh, just being able to have somebody that can talk you through it, but I still knew if I couldn't get it going, they were going to be out within the hour, um, and that was the most important. So the first thing I do when I come in is, well, I've already checked them on my phone that morning, so I knew they were all okay. Uh, I come in straight away, I double check on the screen, make sure, you know, yeah, they have all drank and that there's no calves you need to check on. Top up the feeder then, and after that, it's pretty straightforward. And even just having the app on the phone, before I ever leave my house in the morning, I can check and I can see the calves have all drank. They're all fine. So I can go straight into the parlor or I can do another job straight away. Um, instead of having to come down to the calf shed first and check them all before you ever get into the proper day's work. Well, I suppose as a young farmer, technology has become such a huge thing in everyday farming life. You might be somewhere else, but you still know what's going on in your farm. Um, you know, it was a thing where last year I was in Australia for a while, but I still could bring dad and say, there's a calf there that didn't drink. Can you push him into the feeder? You know, and it's madness to think that you can be the other side of the world and still know what's going on inside in this shed. Oh, it's the dream for a dairy farmer in spring. I always say there is nothing worse than calves roaring and bawling at you. Um, I try and put a positive spin on it, I suppose. In the older shed, it meant that they were hungry and they were anxious for you, but um, it still it should go through you. But everyone compliments or comments on when they come down to this shed, how quiet the calves are. They're never roaring like, but they are, they're just, they're very happy calves down here.